Hello, this is Xenolith bringing you a let's play of Endless Legend, a turn-based forex strategy game by Amplitude Studios. On this channel I'll mostly be playing strategy games, but I may occasionally upload other types of games. Alright, let's get started. Let's quickly go over the settings I'm playing as Wild Walkers. Eventually I want to play as each of the default factions once. Let's start with them first. They are kind of a very vanilla race as strategy games are concerned. I'm playing with 8 Empires on Sirius, Games with Fast, and on the huge large Pangea. The only thing that's different is I'm playing with Empire Spawn spread, so I don't encounter enemies right next to me, but there will probably be early wars. Nonetheless, because the AI on series is somewhat trigger happy. Is coming. I am convinced. Now I must convince the others. We have seen the longer winters. We have felt the limits of the sharing. Our planet is changing. We must change with it. We must leave the forest, start again, explore and reach out. We must find new ways, adapt, learn, or if not, we will perish. And that will not happen while I wear the crown. Let's have a look at our starting location. It's in forest, which is good because that's our faction strength. We have dice, titanium, ruins immediately here, and the river. So I'm thinking settle right in the river because it gives us bonus food. And surrounded by forest, we get enormous production right at the start. And with the rest of the units, go to the ruins for a DXP. That's a good anomaly. Might be worth it to not settle on the first turn. Anomaly with science and approval. Okay, that's really worth it to wait because our starting science would be just garbage if we had only surrounded by forest. So we'll settle on turn two. Quest, that's good. Now I could separate out my carry ranges and scout out more temple ruins, but comes at the cost of unit maintenance. I don't really want to do it, also I miss out on hero XP by not exploring ruins with the hero inside. Of course, always start with mill foundry and we have the titanium, so Start with the titanium tech, though. Maybe library first. Another science. Okay, now it's debatable whether it's worth it to wait another turn. I'm saying no. Let's settle in place, that's fine. I can just build a burrow in that direction. Mill Foundry 2, Founders Memorial 2, fine. Don't need to do anything.
Ah yes, our main faction quest. And it's just to explore ruins, which is something I'm going to be doing anyway. I'll read the main faction quest. If we get other quests, I'll... I won't bother, but this one is kind of interesting. It has been a difficult winter. Not merely the weather and the hunger, but all the rivalries within the Wild Walkers have descended upon the head that wears the crown. Your head. During the long cold months, when both space and activity are lacking, tempest flare and arguments begin. As usual, it is the shamanists of the Sokwa clan who fan the flames. We should not have left the forests, our gods will desert us. We are made weak without the sharing. They should be nerved. they should be named the Tataf clan. They talk too much. But you are the Onon Tio, the highest judge and warlord. And for now, your word remains law. The challenge is to occupy these grumblers and those who would listen to them. They need a purpose and a distraction. Around you are many ancient sites where previous civilizations rose and fell. To avoid the same fate, it would perhaps be good to investigate these places and give the grumblers something else to whine about. Um, Delvers. I might be able to take them. Though I'll equip a longbow. For the higher damage on my main hero. And I use the militia as meat shields, it should be fine. Now, my faction has three units. And each faction has a special passive, and each unit type has a special passive. Our faction's passive is Forest Rage, which means we gain attack on forest tiles and. The thing that makes our starting units, the, the carry ranges special, is that they have 4 range instead of 3. That makes them quite valuable even in the late game, because they scale with equipment. Even though their starting health and other stats like defense are just garbage. But with the range, they'll hopefully do their damage before the enemies ever get a chance to attack them. Heroes revive if other units remain alive, so it's a good idea to send them in first. Sadly, I can't position them right next to the city for the defensive bonus. But okay, triangle. That's fine. Gives us a morale bonus from adjacent units, and the militia can just rush in, uh, however they please us. Easy. No damage to our main units and the militia just replenish us next turn. Those were all the villages in our starting region. 
so as soon as the neutrals spawn, at least they won't spawn close to our hometown. Oh great, there's a cliff. Now I'll have to backtrack. Do the middle, then seed storage. And start with the village. Already have my next tech queued. Already queued those. There's a lot of anomalies up here. Also glass steel, which we like. Probably the best strategic resource for us in the early game. Let's see what we got. Break wall. Oh, useless. But dust is good. Did I miss some ruins? Nope. Kazanji, great. The units are demons. Probably the one of the best, if not the best, neutral faction unit you can get. So expanding up there will be one of my goals. But preferably I'd like to settle my first city in the forest as well. Just because of the production bonus. With the first hero I'll actually tend towards exploration because Wild Walker's heroes are quite good as both governors and army leaders. So why not go with an army leader? <laughs> Especially since you get the movement bonus so quickly and that means faster exploration and more ruin bonuses. Nope. Or does it help? Might. Yeah, seed storage and two is fine. Might even start the settler before the Delver village. But I haven't explored enough to really know where to go with the settler. I don't have enough dust for the second hero. So I'll just go with. Researching dies. Even though it's not a very good resource for us, it's still a bit happiness when used as a booster. Delvers again. Though this time it's outside of reinforcement reach and not that close to forests, so we'll have to be careful. I'll attack from the south, so we have these forests to retreat into in combat. Because settler projection halts city growth, I'll put all my workers into industry, which is which won't be unusual to you if you've ever played a game like Sev. Or even if you've played Endless Space, for example. Hero have yes, he has forest rage as well. The movement and I out initiative that is. 
as well, even though that's not a word. As a note, you can use control click to queue up a movement and then tag, which is good for kiting. One, two. So, move one back, move one back, they can't reach me. And I'll take the damage with the hero. Let's have the notification panel open. An achievement. I have no idea what it does. I think those... Oh no, those are... The snake thing is that give bonus movement. Circle attack is quite a good passive. Anti bonus movement is good. Good base attack, good life, all right life, and good base damage. I'd say. They're a fine faction to assimilate. There are better ones, but if you don't have those available, why not take these? Now, because they have four movement, I'm not sure that I can take them with my archers. Sadly, I don't think anything up here counts as forest. Those two. So I might have to expand here. Um, I suppose I'll use the militia unit that I get as a meat shield and then I'll be able to clear that village. Let's get some science going here. Also, some more science. Science first. Interesting. Other than the impression that neutral units started spawning on turn 10, apparently they do on turn 8. Great. Might have to kill them without meat shields. Ah, yeah. Here you see our faction's special ability, which is seeing enemy unit stacks in regions adjacent to regions you have colonized. So, here and everything around it. So, no surprise attacks on us.
Dragon Tree gives approval, it's good. The lake is a bit unfortunate, because it blocks off city growth. I can't really make a large city with the rocks up here and down there. I'll have to explore more in the region. Science, the only one that's useful for now. For wild walkers, anyway. Oh, that lake is quite large, and there's another one of those. So it might really be worth it just to settle here. I think I'll do that. Okay. Those I can clear without problem. They are. Uh, support spider thing is that do absolutely nothing when they attack. So let's clear those, get back, and the score the settlers. Closer really doesn't matter. Act all against them, just go on the offensive. They'll most likely heal each other. Zero damage, scary. And done. While their unit is useless, riders have a very good assimilation bonus though. Increased health regeneration. Which improves your regen Regeneration far beyond what you get from passive regeneration. Let's hope there isn't another spawn of those. Right, research. Since we started on the river, this is a good idea. Let's really get some dust rolling. And after we get some dust, we might be able to afford a hero. And that's our faction... I mean, Arrow 1 tax. It's usually not worth it to get those two. Because you can get to Arrow 2 so quickly. And... Just the Arrow 2 Iron Armors are already better than the Arrow 1 Resource Armors, so... I just don't think it's worth it. Oh, we also explored, with the help of our burrow here, 
and found some glass steel, which is really good. Let's do it in this shape to Doesn't really matter if you do a line or such a bent curve thing. You get the same amount of exploitations. But don't start with a triangle. It's one or two fewer exploitations. I I'm too lazy to calculate it right now. Let's hope kiting is enough. <laughs> Even though I have my dots. They have 22. Okay. In terms of initiative. It's advantageous for me. So shoot them, shoot them. Then do anything. This turn, kill the first one, then kill the second one when it advances. Didn't need the militias made shells after all. I'll know for the future now. Oh come on! this immediately. Oh. I'm sorry. Sisters of Mercy were the one with the health regeneration bonus and the useless units. Driders are the one with the useless units and the useless bonus. Well, maybe not useless if you are broken lords, because they have very high base defense, but otherwise very underwhelming. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They have to pass through the forest, so one, two, three, four. Um, that's the wrong unit to be in front. to kill them in one volley, so our position shouldn't be a problem. Let's 
let's check those two. Rumbling stones. Jane's Rumble Pit. Of course, I walked right by those ruins. Great. Settle before borrow. This is great terrain for a kiting war. Huh. They aren't approaching. Oh no. You see the power of the range. Doesn't matter how fragile you are when you never get hit. that before. Great. Second settler maybe in this region, but I'll explore towards the south. Maybe we'll find something better. Hello. Well, that's great. I'm not afraid that he'll immediately declare war. Yes, why not assimilate them immediately? Movement bonus is good. to get out. Because if I destroy this village, I'd use three movement points and I can't get out of the region again. And in neutral territory, he is likely to attack me. Even if he doesn't declare war. So what I'll do is either get this ruin or just explore the reason uh, the region from this side and then settle. Oh, 
Okay, I've expanded. It's been half an hour. Let's continue this in the next episode. Thank you for watching.